more rebasing and more blood ball arcs. Stay tuned for this happy journal video. Right, so I have been pretty busy. I've been trying to get a lot of things done. But one of the main things is I want to get stuff finished and moved along so I can start on a bigger project that I'm thinking of. But first thing, one of the main things I wanted to do over the next while is to get all my scaven onto round bases. In the last, I think it was the last hobby, uh, or I think it was the last hobby journal video, or maybe the one before it, I put my 20 man unit of Skaven zombies onto rounds. And then again, I wanted to do that today. So I got 21, 21 of them done on round bases. And it's the exact same way as the last ones 25mm MDF board with a cork top on it, and then some agrelin art, and then just paint it over. Um, these look fantastic on round bases. If you're if you're ever really unsure about switching to rounds, I know it's a lot of effort because these were all slotted bases, so I had to like break them all off. And like it is, it does take a little while, but it's well worth it in the end. Um, it adds more of a uniqueness feeling to each model. In the unit instead of just being well, well they look a little bit bunched up here now but when they're on the square bases in the big square formation you couldn't really expand you couldn't give them a bit of a more scenic base because uh, you had to make sure it always fitted in the rank and file but the round bases definitely give them a bit more freedom to kind of stand out a bit more now you probably mightn't want to do, probably mightn't want to do that with the clan rats because I have another 20 of these to go, so I think I have like 60 of these all together, more than 60, it's probably 70 to get onto round bases, I have about 40 done, so I still have a bit way, I still have a bit of a way to go, let me just, look at that, one didn't fall, <laughs> but the other thing I was wanting to get done, and I've been pushing to try and get these done today, but these Blood Bowl arcs, oh, there's so much detail on them, they're so... They're kind of they're like they're too well designed. It's gonna take me ages to finish these guys because there's so much on it. But I've been getting some more base coats on them. It's kind of at the phase now, and I hate it when it comes to this phase in painting, where it's the base coating phase where everything looks horrible. For the focus, you know, you have to put your one or two layers on everything, and it's just paint bits everywhere you have to tidy up and everything but once you kind of get that first base coat phase over with it's not too bad it starts to take shape a little bit and um, i think one of the problems i kind of ran into fairly early with these is it's kind of hard to detail the skin and um, so i only stuck with two layers and then i'm going to do a dry brush of a third layer of green over some of the higher parts just to get them to stick out a little bit but I'm getting along with them. Once I, as I said, once I get through the base coat phase, I'm going to be pretty happy. Uh, I'm going to be a happy camper getting them finished from then on. So I have like another, what's this? Like eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight more of these finished. That's more than half the team. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next like week or whatever. I'm going to be trying to get all these painted. And I love these models. Look at this. I love this shore model. It's so cool. Um. So I'm I'm looking forward to finishing them. I can't wait to see what they're like when they're done. As for other things, I have been working on another uh, 50 point skirmish list. And this is with the ogres. Um, so there's a little bit of a preview here. This guy's going to be involved in it. One of the, he's like a spider shaman for the Ragnarok model. So I'm going to be using him in that. But I forgot to get... I have to get more models down from the attic. I completely forgot to do it, so that's they've been there for a few days until I go up to the attic and get more stuff done. Um, and that's kind of been it. This it took me all day to do all these bases. It took so long because they were all like this. There's like two other ones I still haven't finished. Um, like I have to put, the, I have to apply the cork. I have to cut it out. I have to, I have to spray in grey. Then I have to put a ghrelin earth shade or a ghrelin earth on it. Um, and it's not that they're really long, it's just it takes a while for them to dry. So I'm look, lucky, luckily today that it's been sunny out, so all these have dried really quick. Uh, but it's the ghrelin art that takes the texture pen. Here it is here. Uh, this is fantastic stuff. And that's the one that takes the longest to dry. 
Um, so then I put my paint on it, then I put a wash, and then I just dry brush over it. So that's it for Hobby Journal. So that was it for this Hobby Journal video. Like I said earlier, I'm wanting to get these finished. I want to get them off my desk because there's another big project I'm wanting to start working on pretty soon. Um, so what's in line for now is probably just the Blood Bowl Orcs. Once they're finished, I'll have a video off for that. And then I'm going to move on to the bigger project, which is going to be... It's going to be rebasing again. It's going to be Tankwell and Bone Ripper and the Vermin Lord. Um, and then some other stuff that I've ordered as well. So if you're excited for that, make sure to hit the like button and comment below. If you like this video, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys are working on as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.